First question is from Alex Ewan. From your experience, how much muscle could an average genetics beginner put on in a year, assuming they're following a MAPS program? Really good question. <laughs> Way more range. than other programs. Great I'll commercial for that. MAPS. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Okay. So if, okay. Good programming. Low end good. 40, high end 60 pounds, somewhere on there. <laughs> oh, <Wow>. Jesus. <laughs> wow, that's, Not true. That's a bold statement. <laughs> okay. So let's say you got a good workout program. So it's appropriate for your body. It's geared towards building muscle. You got good sleep, good diet, average genetics. I would say it's probably realistic in terms of lean body mass in the first year for a man to probably gain anywhere between, I don't know, 10 to 15 pounds of lean body mass in the first year. I think about All things that. being equal. I think mm -hmm. that's, do you guys, what do you guys think? Oh, I think that's, uh, that's sort of for, if range. you're talking about a brand new beginner, I think that's uh, very realistic. I think you could see even higher numbers that, I mean, uh, professional bodybuilders would say that uh, if they could add 10 pounds of muscle in a year, that's like. Amazing. But they're already so big and right. Often. Yeah, well, and they've also been training for a long, long time and taking everything already in their yeah. sun. But when you're new, boy, it, it kind of it comes on pretty quick. So and I, that's you know, lean muscle. That's not just overall mass, which I think a lot of people get. Uh, they lump all that in together in terms of what they've gained. So yeah, yeah. we're talking just the lean muscle. Yeah, I would say ten to fifteen 10 is pretty reasonable. Ten to fifteen in in about a year, the first year, with everything being good. For women, it's probably more like uh, I don't know four to eight, uh, probably roughly half. Um, and then each year after that, you'll probably slow down uh, in terms of your gains. Now here's the thing, okay. All things being equal, boy, is there a wide variance in genetics. So I've, yeah. I know people that have gained thirty pounds of lean body mass their first year of training, and these are just genetic yeah, freaks. Just freaks, yeah. And then I know other people where it's like five, and he got you know men where it's like four pounds of lean body mass in a year, yeah. and that first year is really really challenging. So it can really make a big difference. Well, I think uh, the most the the uh, the stuff that I've read is between a half a pound to a pound, like on the good end, right? On the high yeah. end, a half a pound to a pound of muscle a week. If everything is dialed in a and, week, yeah. Oh my God, that would well, be that's, that's two pounds a month, well, a two to four pounds a month. It's what you just said. Forty eight would be primo for fifty six weeks, but the re reality of that's not. Then maybe initially, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. So. And that's, I mean, again, that's the high end, uh, what someone could potentially anticipate. Well, I think there's also that novel sort of window if you're a beginner, right? You get those sort of new gains uh, for the first few weeks, for the first few months, and you can kind of like, you know, get a real good jump start. I, I it's, would, all, it's all relative to, to but your, it depends on genetics, your actual size already too. So someone yeah. who is a 200 pound man uh, could gain uh, 20 pounds and it's not that big of a deal. A That's guy, 10%, right? Yeah, exactly. A guy who's 100, 120 pounds, uh, total different story. So, I mean, it, you're, it depends on the size, depends on the genetic. Yeah, so yeah. there is a wide variance here, but you could put on a decent amount of muscle in... I know as a, as a young lifter, I know there was there, at least a, a year there where I had a good 10 to 15 pound you know, gain in a What in was a your year. best year? Probably something like that. Yeah, yeah probably too. something 10 to 15 pounds. My best year was... Not, Non-anabolics, right? So, like, obviously, right. I've had mm -hmm. bigger jumps when I was on steroids, but uh, naturally, yeah, probably 10 to 15 pounds. Mine was when be. I was 16, and I gained, like, over the summer, I gained about, uh, on the scale, 14 pounds. I don't know yeah. if that was... I'm sure it wasn't all lean body mass, but that was over a summer. As a 16-year-old kid, I got stretch marks in my legs and in my armpits. But it's uh, genetics play a big role. And also, when you're a beginner, the muscle gains kind of look like this. It's almost like a bell curve. At first, your strength goes up quite quickly, but you don't gain muscle very quickly. And that's from central nervous system adaptation. And you're learning the exercises. Yeah. You're learning how to do them properly. So you're not really able to maximize the benefit you get from them. So it starts off from a muscle gain perspective a bit slow, and then it ramps up, and then it kind of peaks, and then it starts to slow down again. So it's like if I got a new client that was otherwise healthy, you know, you know, in an, you know, let's say the age range of 20 to 40, and they're doing everything right. It's usually after the second month that we would start to see the muscle gains really start to, to, to come on. You know? Well, don't you think, though, too, like they hit that inevitable sort of tapering off and plateau because they're not thinking ahead in terms of changing the stimulus up and, and you know, the programming and addressing that. The, uh, I think a lot of times that like, you just feel like you're, you're making all this progress and you mm -hmm. stay within that same uh, sort of protocol, whereas this is something that we really were intentionally drying up. Uh, with the MAPS programs. Yeah, I read um, another article that said that the average man over the course of a long period of time with good training, good diet, 
would, could gain naturally roughly 20 pounds of lean body mass above their what their body would normally carry. Yeah. So that was the 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 number that I read. So if if your lean body mass sits around 160 after you know four or five years of good training, being consistent, you could probably carry an additional. I mean, this would be an lean. awesome commercial for us. I mean, I'd love to have somebody who like yeah. owns like four or five programs, right? Because that's what it would take to get all the way through a year, and and changes up the stimulus every three months, right? New program, mm -hmm. stays tight mm -hmm. on their diet, and is a, a new lifter, and then reports back, right? You do your body fat test before just to see kind of your baseline. Do something that's consistent, whatever one you decide to do. And then test at the end of the year. It'd be really interesting to see what that would be. I'd love to. Yeah, like I'd a love lean to hear muscle, somebody. Uh, yeah, sort of competition. Yeah, I, I think I think ten to fifteen is uh, very very likely. I think it's you'll see. I some, think it's realistic. It's yeah. realistic. Yes, yeah, stays because, in reality. Okay, okay, likely is is hard because how many people beginners do you know? For a well, year. Okay, yeah, but we're we're assuming that, right? Yes, we're assuming yes. they are doing a calorie increase, right? We're assuming as they start to build, they it slowly continue to increase they calories. Got a good workout program, right? They're well, they're following maps, right? They're following maps all the way yeah. through for an they're entire year. Adequate recovery. They're yeah, they're well, which it's built into the programming, yep. right? So they're following maps perfectly for a whole entire year. They are eating accordingly, meaning that as they gain muscle, they're continuing to scale the caloric intake up from where it was before, mm -hmm. and they do that consistently for an entire year. I think 10 to 15 is more than realistic. Yeah. I think you should expect that uh, for if you're doing all things. Yeah, right? yeah I would I'd love agree. to see yeah somebody squeeze that even further, like see how far you go. Oh, I, I had someone, see. I had some, I mean, I got DMs all the time. I had a yeah. guy gain 20, you know, yeah. and yeah. he's probably up a little bit better on the genetic standpoint. He was young, he was in his 20s. Uh huh. But he gained uh, 20 pounds of, uh, of, I think, almost all lean body mass. His body fat percentage, in fact, stayed the same. I think he only gained a couple pounds of body fat with that. So I've, I've seen it um, from some of our people. You know what's funny is the longevity effects uh, that they're measuring from muscle are really coming from the strength. Mm -hmm. So it's the strength increases that they've connected to longevity, not necessarily muscle. But strength is a great way to correlate to muscle. So just a right. side note. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.